and lift off. Five years ago. Of the Atlas V with Juno on a trek to Jupiter. He'd set off on a mission. Now, NASA's Juno spacecraft is fast approaching Jupiter, heading toward a 4th of July rendezvous. NASA is on a journey of discovery to understand are we alone? Um, what caused us to, what caused this solar system to have life? Juno will spend 20 months in orbit, at times passing within just a few thousand miles of Jupiter's swirling clouds. Its sensors taking key measurements of the planet's deep interior. Jupiter holds a lot of those keys, being the largest planet. Um, us understanding how the solar system evolved um, uh, goes hand in hand with understanding how Jupiter works and because it's such a, a dominant force in our solar system. For Juno to go to explore this planet in a way that we've never seen before is gonna help us really understand um, how the solar system came to be. Essentially what we're, what we're trying to do by doing these detailed examinations of each one of the planets is to obviously understand more about the planets, the formation of the planets, the processes and the underlying elements of how they formed. And that's important to us because that relates back to the overall generation of how the solar system formed. The more we can understand about each of the planets, the better we can understand about ourselves back on Earth and what the potential impacts could be to us on Earth. After 37 passes, Juno's mission will end in 2018, the spacecraft plunging into Jupiter's atmosphere. It'll disintegrate safely, avoiding the possibility of contaminating one of Jupiter's moons, where scientists hold out hope that life may someday be found. Alex Sands, The Associated Press.